الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا وحبيبنا ومولانا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد We praise the Almighty Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala Allah the Lord of all that exists the most gracious, the most merciful, the master of the day of judgment. It is him alone that we do worship, and it is in him that we do put all our trust. We pray that Allah Taala guides us the straight path, the path of those unto whom he bestowed his favors, <coughs> and not the path of those who and his anger, nor that of those who went astray. Allahumma ameen. May complete peace, salutations, mercy, and blessings be showered upon the seal of prophethood, the very last of all the messengers and prophets, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We pray that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala blesses this prophet, his companions, his family, and all those that shall follow his path till the day of judgment. Allahumma ameen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, I welcome you once again to our show, The Message. Bi'ibnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. Thank you so much for always uh, logging into this show. We are actually very, very grateful. And alhamdulillahi tabarak wa ta'ala will always prepare for you the best. And this is Salam TV. The show is called The Message. And it's me, your presenter, your sheikh. Hafiz Ali Ali Sulaiman Walugembe. I welcome all of you. Please, I always encourage you to call upon everybody. Let them join bi ibnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. Let them sit down and learn something as far as our religion, Islam, is concerned. Bi ibnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala accept all the goodness that we do. And uh, we pray that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala forgives us whenever we go wrong. Bi-idhnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. Now, my dear brother and sisters in Islam, in our message today, bi-idhnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala, I must remind you something that, did you know that we have, we have actually begun the Islamic year? We are in the new year of Islam. And today, the date of today is Fourth, it is the fourth day of the month called Muharram. Uh, this, this, this is supposed to be known by all of you, our dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Today is fourth, the month of Muharram, the year 1444, or 1444. That is the date today, bi'ibnillah. So, as a Muslim, you must be knowing this simply because our activities as Muslims, the activities of worship, they rotate, they are in connection with the Islamic months. Bi'ibnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. And our message today, insha'Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, like you can see on your screens, bi'ibnillah, we are going to be talking about the sacred months on the Islamic calendar. The sacred months on the Islamic calendar, bi ibnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. Remember, it's a new year, uh, it's a new beginning. You have to change yourself, you have to be a new person, bi ibnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. Whatever was challenging you, you try to make it better, and whatever was actually making you feel out of place, you put it aside and let us have a new beginning because bi ibnillah, Allah has blessed us with the new year as far as Islam is concerned. bi ibnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. My dear brother, my dear sister, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala tells us in chapter 9 of the Holy Quran. Chapter 9 is called Surah to Tawbah, verse 36. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says in that verse that, Inna iddata shuhuri inda Allahi ithna ashara shaharan fi kitabillah. يَوْمَ خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ مِنْهَا أَرْبَعَةٌ حِرُمٌ ذَلِكَ الدِّينُ الْقَيِّمُ 
فلا تظلموا فيهن انفسكم وقاتلوا المشركين كافة كما يقاتلونكم كافة واعلموا ان الله مع المتقين الله تبارك وتعالى says that in عده الشهور i hope you have opened your quran open chapter 9 that is surah at-tauba verse 36 and this is the point of reminder today bi'idhnillah tabarak wa ta'ala we are going to be talking about the sacred months on the islamic calendar the word sacred actually means months that are holy months that are special the chosen ones those months that allah tabarak wa ta'ala has chosen to be sacred to be special to be holy uh, and there are reasons behind uh, the, 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 these months being sacred bi idnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala and we are going to be looking at this inshallah tabarak wa ta'ala keep on the show may allah tabarak wa ta'ala grant us the best so the ayah the verse i have recited in surah at-tauba verse 36 allah tabarak wa ta'ala says that in iddat ash-shuhuri 'inda allah 12 shahran fi kitabillah that indeed the number of months ordained by allah is 12 the number of months ordained by allah tabarak wa ta'ala is 12 the number of months that allah tabarak wa ta'ala knows is 12 months of course here someone would say yes the months are 12 even when you go to this other calendar that is known by everybody uh the miladi calendar uh the the, the, the months are also 12 Eh? January, February, March and, and like that up to December. But here we are not talking about these months that everybody knows. January to December. No, those are not the ones that we are talking about. Here we are talking about the Hijri calendar. The calendar that actually began right from the time when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had just approached Medina. when he migrated from Mecca to Medina this is when the islamic calendar started working bi idnillah tabarak wa ta'ala even though they had the months before that they had these months they had calendars before but it was officially this time that uh, this calendar was adopted and bi idnillah tabarak wa ta'ala we started following it so that is why we say hijri hijri coming from the word hijra Hijra which means migration bi idnillah tabarak wa ta'ala so the moment the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam touched taf in madina this is when the calendar began so when we say that we are in the year 1443 no it, that is actually the last year that we have just completed if we say we are in the year 1444 now we are in the year 1444 hijri so it actually means This is the time that has elapsed since the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam migrated to Medina. So, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says in Surah At-Tawbah that inna iddat ash-shuhur that indeed the number of months in the law with Allah tabarak wa ta'ala that is known by the Almighty Allah tabarak wa ta'ala is 12 shahrah. Allah knows 12 months. But I'm, but I'm telling you it don't mean the January up to December no Allah tabarak wa ta'ala here he means the months that we must follow as muslims the months that we that begin with muharram and end with uh dhul hajj or dhul hijjah bi idnillah tabarak wa ta'ala as a muslim you are a muslim you are a very good practicing muslim But do you know the names of the 12 months of the Islamic calendar? Do you know them? These 12 months that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala is talking about in the Quran. Do you know these months? This is something that you uh, you must know, you must sit down and learn as a Muslim. Why? Because the Islamic rituals, the Islamic uh, activities of worship, they depend on the times 
they depend on the seasons and they actually directly depend on these months bi'idnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala like how for example how would we fast the holy month of ramadan yet we don't know when it comes we don't know how it comes and what is its number bi'idnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala how how should we how would we perform actually al hajj when we actually don't know the months of al hajj allah tabarak wa ta'ala says al hajj ashhurun ma'lumat the months of hajj are well known but do you know the month of hajj bi'idnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala so my dear brother my dear sister sit down and learn something as far as the islamic months are concerned especially the sacred ones bi'idnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala so allah tabarak wa ta'ala says that inna iddata ash-shuhuri 'inda allah that verily the number of months with allah ithna ashara shahran they are 12 months ithna ashara shahran fi kitabillah in the book of allah tabarak wa ta'ala yawma khalaqa as-samawat wal ard right from the day allah tabarak wa ta'ala created the heavens and the earth this is how it has been so i actually told you that the islamic calendar was adopted when the prophet migrated to medina but it does not actually mean before this calendar was not existing it was existing allah tabarak wa ta'ala says that yawma khalaqa as-samawat wal ard right from the day allah tabarak wa ta'ala created the heavens and the earth so the months that we are following as muslims muharram up to dhul hijjah they are months that are known before the almighty allah tabarak wa ta'ala and it has been like that right from the time of creation of the heavens and the earth then as a muslim yes we must follow these months as well january to december let us follow them because that is uh, that is the country we live in that is the world today what everybody gets to know but as a muslim this should be your special kind of knowledge that you must keep with you all the time bi'idnillah because it will help you especially when performing ibadah bi'idnillah tabarak wa ta'ala so these months that we are talking about it has actually been like this right from the time of creation of course when you read the history you'll find that this january up to december it wasn't it has actually it it has somewhere it begins from not from the time of creation but what we follow as muslims has been uh, the, the 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 has been so right from the time allah tabarak wa ta'ala created the heavens and the earth but the reason as to why we ha we add hijri we add hijri on the islamic year that 1444 hijri it's because when the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam migrated to medina this is when it was adopted so the years we mentioned that 1443 this is the time that we have spent since the prophet muhammad migrated from makka to al medina so allah tabarak wa ta'ala says yawma khalaqa as-samawati wal ard it has been like this right from the time allah tabarak wa ta'ala created the heavens and the earth but allah mentions something speci special he says minha from among those 12 months arba'atun hurum there are four that are sacred minha arba'atun hurum in the 12 months a muslim is supposed to know all these 12 months okay we have muharram Hey, we have Muharram, Safar, Rabi'ul Al-Awwal, Rabi'ul Rabi'ul Al-Thani, Jamad Al-Aula, Jamad Al-Akhra, Rajab, Sha'ban, Ramadan, Shawwal, Dhul Qa'ada and Dhul Hijjah. So those 12 months Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala mentions and says that minha from among those 12 arba'atun hurum. There are four that are sacred. Did you know this? There are four that are special. There are four months that Allah has chosen to be sacred, to be special, to be holy. Bi idnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. And these four the Prophet Muhammad 
sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explains to us when you go to the verse verse 36 of surah to at tawbah allah does not mention them but they are mentioned in the hadith of prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam you know when we are making the tafsir of the quran there is that tafsir tafsir al quran bil quran we translate the quran using quran and there is also tafsir al quran bil hadith aw bil ahadith there is, there is also that level of translating the Qur'an or getting more meaning of the verses of the Qur'an using the words of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So here, when you come to this verse, we use that level of translating and getting more meaning of the Qur'an, the Ibn Allah, using the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the, the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam comes out and explains to us the four sacred months and he mentions them the prophet mentions the four he says three of those four they follow one another okay this one comes and then this one comes after this one and like that so they follow one another the prophet muhammad says those four that those three that follow one another they are the that is the 11th month. Dhul Hijjah, that is the 12th. Uh, if you have actually been following our series, we have been talking about the month of Dhul Hijjah a few weeks ago, Allah, because it is the last month of the Islamic calendar. And uh, it was the month that closed the year 1443, So the month Dhul Qa'ada, it is the 11th, but it is sacred. Dhul Hijjah, it is the 12th month, and it is the month that closes the year. And then we have Muharram, the one that comes after Dhul Hajj. And Muharram, for your information, my dear sister, my dear brother who is watching us on Salam TV now, we are in the month of Muharram. In the new year, the new Islamic year, the Ibn Allah wa ta'ala, the year 1444, and today is the fourth day of Muharram, the Ibn Allah wa ta'ala. Did you know that? So, the Prophet mentions, and he says, three follow one another. Dhul, he says, Dhul Qa'ada, Dhul Hijjah, and Muharram. Those three are sacred, but they follow one another. But remember, the verse says they are four. So the prophet mentions the fourth. And he says, وَرَجَبْ مُضَرْ And Rajab, it is, it is separated from these ones. It is also the other sacred month, the fourth one. The Ibn Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. So all the four, they are number one, Dhul Qa'ada. Number two, Dhul Hijjah. Number three, Muharram. And number four, Rajab. Bi'ibnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. Now, we have known that Dhul Qa'ada is month number 11. Dhul Hijjah is the 12th month. Muharram, it is the first month of the Islamic calendar. And we are in Muharram. So that actually means we are in the sacred month. Wow. Don't you... Won't you be grateful to the Almighty Allah wa ta that Muharram of this year has found you alive? We must thank Allah wa ta So, those are 11th, 12th, and the first month. What about Rajab? We said we have Muharram, Safur, Rabi'u Rabi al-Awwal, Rabi'u al-Thani, Jamad al-Ula, Jamad al-Ukhra, Rajab. So, you'll find that Rajab is the seventh month. Bi'idnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. I hope you note that down. So, we have Dhul Qa'da, 11th. Dhul Hijjah, 12th. Muharram, first, the first month. And then Rajab, the seventh month. So those months, the four that we have mentioned, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says, those months are sacred. They are sacred. They are special. We know... Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, just like human beings, there are those human beings that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala has chosen out of the entire humanity and they are special 
and those are the messengers and prophets. The entire humanity, Allah Taala has chosen some, and these ones are special. Allah has given them special tasks to perform, and Allah Taala has elevated them in rank. Those are the messengers and prophets. And when you come to also the messengers and prophets themselves, there are those that Allah Taala has chosen and has made them special. Bi idnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. From amongst them, you know Allah tabarak wa ta'ala chooses from his creation in a special way some of those creations that he wishes and he makes them special. So Allah tabarak wa ta'ala from the entire humanity, the human beings, all of them right from Adam up to the last man that shall ever exist, Allah has chosen those that are special and those are the messengers and prophets. And from amongst them, Allah has chosen those that are special again, more special than the special ones. Okay? And those are the other prophets that we mention and we call them Ulul Azmi Min Ar Rusul. Ulul Azmi Min Ar Rusul. They are five. Allah wa Ta'ala mentions them both, both in Surah Al Ahzab and Surah Al Shura. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala and these are the prophets that are special Muhammad, Ibrahim, Musa, Isa, Nuh. Those five Nuh, Ibrahim, Musa, Isa, Muhammad. And from amongst the five, Allah has chosen Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to be the most special one. Bi ibnillah. So that is with human beings. Even amongst the angels, Allah Taala has chosen some angels to be a little more special than the rest. If you look at Angel Jibril alayhi salam, Allah has elevated him in rank. When you come uh, to, to the, the, the months that we are talking about, to the days that we are talking about, you will find that in the week, Allah has chosen the Friday to be the most special day and the best day of the week. Now you will find that when you come to the month, the months, Allah, Allah has chosen the four sacred months to be the most special ones, Allah, wa ta'ala. So my dear brother, my dear sister, even when you go to the books that Allah wa ta'ala has sent down, there are, Allah wa ta'ala sent down many scriptures and books, but there are those four books that are so special. We have the Zabur, the Taurat, the Injil, and the Quran. MashaAllah. And then from among us, the, all the four, there, are, there is also the Quran that Allah wa ta'ala has chosen as the most special one. Bi ibnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. So my dear brother, this is the criteria that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala has also put on the months of the Islamic year. There are four that are sacred. And we have mentioned... Dhul Qa'ada, Dhul Hijjah, Muharram, and the month of Rajab, which is the seventh, the seventh month of the Islamic calendar. Bi idnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. So, my dear brother, my dear sister, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says, Minha arba'atun hurum. From amongst the twelve, there are four months that are sacred. But Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says, Fala tablimu fi hinna anfusakum. Fala tablimu. Allah wa ta'ala says, So do not wrong one another during these months. Do not oppress yourselves. While in the sacred months of which Muharram is part. And remember, I must tell you, my dear brother, my dear sister, who is watching us on, on Salam TV, that we are in the month of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala called Shahrullahi al-Muharram. We are in the sacred month called Muharram and this month today is the fourth day bi idnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. And it's a, it's a new year, new Islamic year, 1444 bi idnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. So Allah tabarak wa ta'ala tells us, فَلَا تَظْلِمُوا فِي هِنَّا أَنفُسَكُمْ Do not wrong one another in these months. All of them, but I must remind you that it is another month that we have just begun. Do not oppress yourselves. Do not wrong one another. 
in these months bi idnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala they are months of remembering the oneness of the almighty allah tabarak wa ta'ala do not commit shirk in these months it does not actually mean that in other, in the other months shirk is allowed no these are months that actually train us that actually show us how we are supposed to live the entire time bi idnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala we must be a little more steadfast in the months that are sacred bi idnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala like the month of dhul qada dhul hajj and uh, muharram there are days that ha, alhamdulillah tabarak wa ta'ala there are days that we have been actually fasting observing the oneness of the almighty allah tabarak wa ta'ala and doing a lot of istighfar and asking for allah's forgiveness bi idnillah tabarak wa ta'ala and insha allah tabarak wa ta'ala tomorrow this is our promise insha allah tomorrow because you know our show is always uh, on tuesday and wednesday we are going to be insha allah tabarak wa ta'ala we are going to look at muharram specifically and we we'll look at insha allah tabarak wa ta'ala the day of ashura because the day of ashura is in this month of muharram bi idnillah tabarak wa ta'ala my dear brother my dear sister we are in the sacred month when we talk about the day of ashura it is the 10th day so if today is fourth you can count you can follow that actually means today is uh, tuesday fourth so wednesday it will be fifth uh, in fact tomorrow will, will be fifth thursday will be sixth friday will be seventh saturday eighth uh, sunday ninth and then that actually means the day of ashura is going to be monday insha allah taala monday is the day of ashura in these months there are also more special days that allah tabarak wa taala chose for us to do a lot of ibada in these days bi idnillah tabarak wa taala so allah tabarak wa taala chose these months and the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam showed us how we are supposed to behave exactly in these months when allah tabarak wa ta'ala says fala tadlimu fihinna anfusakum do not oppress yourselves while in these sacred months for example when you look at the month of muharram in which that the one that we are in there is a hadith uh, of abi huraira radiyallahu an uh, Uh, he says Abu Huraira radiyallahu anhu says that anna rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala that the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said afdalu as-siyam ba'da ramadan shahrullah al-muharram afdalu afdalu as-siyam ba'da ramadan shahrullah al-muharram he says the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the best kind of fasting the the best type of fasting that comes after ramadan it is fasting the month of allah tabarak wa ta'ala muharram so fasting ramadan it is top it is it tops the list why because ramadan is compulsory ramadan is uh, a must when you go to the five pillars of islam uh shahada salah zakah sawm comes so this is fasting ramadan it is compulsory everybody has to fast but now after ramadan the best or the, the 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 kind of fasting that comes in position number two, from the words of the messenger muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he says afdalu as-siyam the best or the better type of fasting ba'da ramadan that comes after ramadan shahrullah al-muharram it is fasting the month of allah al-muharram the month that we are in my dear brother my dear sister the prophet here is showing us how we are supposed to behave especially in these sacred months bi idnillah tabarak wa ta'ala we are in the month of muharram it is a sacred month bi idnillah so one of the things that the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam actually 
uh, did in these months is, is to fast. But the second best kind of fasting, it is fasting the month of Muharram. So, that actually means, my dear brother, if you can fast the Thursdays, the Mondays in this month, please do. Because today is a Tuesday, the day after tomorrow is a Thursday. If you can, please go ahead and fast. We have, in this month, the day of Ashura. And inshallah, tomorrow we are going to dedicate it to a, a, our talk of the message shall be, shall concern, shall, we shall talk about the day of Ashura, inshallah, what is it, the history behind it, and uh, some of uh, those, uh, the, the, the things that happened on the, on the day of Ashura, its significance, bi'ibnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. And according to what we have just seen, the day of Ashura is the 10th day, if today is 4th, it means the day of Ashura, it is going to come on Monday, bi'ibnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. So if you can fast the Thursdays, if you can fast the Mondays in this month of Muharram, this is the way we are supposed to behave in a way of not oppressing ourselves, the way of showing the oneness of the Almighty Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, just like the way the, way the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam behaved. So let us fast the Mondays, the Thursdays, bi'idnillah, there is a better, there is a more kind of reward, the, the better kind of reward you get while fasting the days of Muharram, from the words of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then after you, you fasting those ones, don't forget the day of Ashura. The day of Ashura, the word Ashura comes from Ashara, and you see it is the 10th day of uh, this month of Muharram, the sacred month. So you can also fast the day of uh, Ashura, we shall look at the hadith of the Prophet when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ordered. He actually advised us to fast the day of Ashura. And uh, for us to make a difference uh, between us and the, the other people, the Jews. You know when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam migrated from Mecca to Medina, he found the Jews of Medina fasting the day of Ashura. He found them fasting it. And he asked them, that why do you fast this day? And the Jews told the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we fast this day because it is the day that Allah saved our prophet Musa alayhi salam from, uh, from the problems of Fir'aun, from the test of Fir'aun. So they celebrate Ashura in a special way by fasting it, because it is the day that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala saved their prophet, Musa alayhi salam. Remember, there is a difference between Musa and Muhammad. The difference comes with the people that these messengers were sent to. Musa was sent to the Jews, but Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sent to the entire humanity, the entire mankind. In fact, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sent to all human beings, including the jinns. Yes. And that is the difference he makes with other prophets. So that is uh, knowledge uh, of the other day. But, so, they tell the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that this day, on this day, God, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, saved our prophet from the problems, from the persecutions of Fir'aun alayhi lana. And so we celebrate this day by fasting it. Oh, the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, wow. Nahnu ahaqqud nasi bi Musa minhum. He says that we, the Muslims, we are closer to Musa than them. Yes. Just, that's like the way we relate with Isa, Jesus closely and in the right way more than even our dear brothers and sisters the christians so allah the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam tells these people that nahnu haqqun nas bi musa we are closer to musa alayhi because we believe him in the right way we believe in him the way he is supposed to be uh, believed in that he was a messenger and the prophet of the almighty allah tabarak wa ta'ala just like isa alayhi salam us Muslims 
and this is the right way uh, uh, of belief, the, the right uh, kind of belief that Musa and Isa, they were both, me both messengers and prophets of the Almighty Allah. Wa ta so the prophet, he says that we are closer to Musa than them. So he ordered that we should fast the day of Ashura. And he said that for us to mark or to put a difference between us, the Muslims, and the Jews, he says that if next year, during that time, he says that if next year finds me while I'm still alive, I will fast the ninth and the tenth, just to bring a difference. So he had vowed the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa to fast the day before Ashura, which is the ninth, and the day of Ashura. Or to fast the day of Ashura and the day after Ashura. So my dear brother, my dear sister, if you are preparing for this, it is if we have said that uh, we have found out that Ashura will be Monday. So that actually means for any person that would fast uh, Ashura, inshallah, it is so much encouraged that you fast even Sunday. That is the ninth day. And then the tenth day, bi'idhnillah. Or you fast Monday and Tuesday. So that is the tenth and the eleventh, just to bring the difference between the Muslims and the Jews, uh, but unfortunately, the Prophet did not make it to that year when he made that uh, kind of declaration. He died before uh, he made it to that year, and we shall look at that in detail. We shall go into the, those details and we see fasting Ashura, what is the kind of reward that you get, the history, the significance of Ashura. Do not miss this tomorrow. My dear brother, my dear sister. So, uh, some of the things, some of the way, some of the ways we are supposed to adopt, especially in these sacred months, it is to fast. The Ibn Allah. We have said fast the Mondays, fast the Thursdays. Here in this month we have the day of Ashura. There is a day before Ashura, the day of Ashura, the day after Ashura. In this month of Muharram, we have the white days. The white days come every month, every 13th, 14th, and 15th. Bismillah tabarak wa ta'ala. If you are able, please go ahead and fast the day, uh, the, the days of this month of Muharram, and uh, uh, you actually observe this kind of fasting following the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa So my dear brother, my dear sister, as we come to the end of our show today, Bismillah tabarak wa ta'ala, I hope you have picked something. Here we have been talking about the sacred months on the Islamic calendar. And we have said that the number of months with Allah wa ta'ala is 12. From amongst the 12, there are four that are sacred. And the Prophet mentions the four. We say these four are Dhul Qa'da, Dhul Hijjah, Muharram. And the fourth is Rajab, which is the seventh. Bi'ibnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says, In these four months, la tadlimu fihinna anfusakum. Do not oppress yourselves. Do not wrong one another in these months. And we said that one of the best ways we can adopt, especially in these months, it is to fast them. To fast most of the days in these months. The Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, according to the hadith of Abi Huraira, Radhi Allahu Anhu says that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Afbalu Suyami Ba'da Ramadan, the best kind of fasting after Ramadan, Shaharullahi Al Muharram, it is fasting the month of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, Al Muharram. And insha'Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, because we are in the month of Muharram, tomorrow, as I promised, we shall talk about the day of Ashura and its significance, its history. And bi'idhnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala, some of the other ways we are supposed to adopt, especially in the months that are sacred, bi'idhnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. So I hope that, alhamdulillah, we have picked something. We have learned something as far as, as, far as the Islamic calendar is concerned, insha'Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. Now you know the 12 months of the Islamic year, and now you also know the four months that are sacred, bi'idhnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. I thank you so much 
That is the message of today. May Allah Ta'ala accept the goodness that we do and may He forgive us whenever we go wrong. You are good people. Keep on, keep on to Salam TV bi idnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala. A lot of very other interesting programs are coming. Insha'Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. Until we meet tomorrow, it's me your presenter, Hafidh Ali, Ali Sulaiman Walugembe. I pray that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala protects you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Are you looking for the best eco stoves? Look no farther. Maskop is here for you. We are the leading providers of eco stoves, residential and institutional firewood clean stoves, and solar aided kitchens. Maskop stoves ensure a clean and smart smoke free environment, cost saving, and fast cooking. Find us at Sirwanga Mosoke Road next to Kiva Magistrates Court, or you can call us on 0702 911 911. Maskop.